City of Tulsa Water and Sewer Elwood location is Sustainable Tulsa's 2020 Bellman Award winner in the small business category for achievements toward their triple bottom line, People, Profit, Planet. Through the scorecard, the region's first business sustainability tracking and assessment tool, here is their story. We have some people who go out and monitor drinking water in the distribution system to make sure our drinking water is safe. We also have people who monitor waste coming from industries or restaurants to make sure that the quality of water going into the waste stream is also acceptable. Elwood has a robust recycling program. We took styrofoam out of our kitchen and we've also provided reusable plates and silverware and cups and all of the dishes somebody might need for uh, making food so they don't have to use anything disposable. We track all of our uh, utility information in the EPA portfolio manager. So we track electricity use, uh, water use, gas use. We also have signs around our office reminding people to use less water or turn the lights off when they leave. We have these plants that people can take to their office and they can keep it in there until it needs care and they can bring it back to the, my, my office and get another plant if they want it. We did some air quality monitoring and actually came up with results that the air quality in my office specifically where all of the plants are is better than the rest of the office without plants. So we've actually seen measurable differences differences just because of the plants being in there. Last year we planted our Monarch Way station. It was during the flood and it ended up being a little baby garden. We would go out some days and find dozens of Monarch caterpillars and I had people in my office coming to me every day giving me updates on all of these caterpillars that we're finding and they watched them pupate and turn into chrysalises and then hatch and turn into Monarch butterflies and it's been really a, a very big team building experience. Twice a year, I get our sustainability team together and we go over every single point on the scorecard. And we try to determine, you know, if we've never gotten a point on something, what can we do to get that point? And if we already have a point on something, what can we do to improve it? Because continuous improvement is our goal. I also do annual training with our staff to tell them what we're doing and what we want them to do and what our goals are. And I send them email updates frequently to let them know, you know, this is what we're doing. These are our successes and this is what you've done to help this program. These emails also get forwarded to management and upper management and upper management will take it to the utility board and even the mayor knows what we're doing. To me, the scorecard gives me a scaffolding to where I can gather all of this information from wherever it is and I can give that to my people and tell them these are the things that are available that we're already doing or it's something that you can participate in. We're getting an award for doing a good job and we can use that to say, you know, our office is a small group with just 20 something people and hardly any budget. And if we can win this award, then anybody can do it. If the city is doing the sustainability stuff, then maybe the next city will see that, well, Tulsa is doing sustainability initiatives, why can't we? And then the next city will say, well, they're doing it, why can't we? And we can make a global difference just by acting locally.